Today's video is a review of my Blue Nile Diamond Tennis Bracelet. This bracelet has a total carat weight of 5 carats. It has 49 round diamonds with a color grade of I. Each diamond is set in an elegant two-prong setting. The bracelet has a beautiful shine and luster. It's made of a 14 karat white gold with a rhodium finish. This bracelet comes in a standard length of 7 inches and it also has a box clasp. So this is what the clasp looks like. It attaches in two different points. First you push the bracelet in together, then there's a safety catch as well. So if it were to fall off, not that it would, there would be two layers to protect it. So this is what the packaging looks like. The bracelet is secure from this elastic piece as well as the velvet prongs on the side. To remove it, just bend the metal portion right here. So it may be a bit tricky to put on single-handedly. You may need some help with this. Let me just try to show it for the video purpose. So this is what the bracelet looks like once worn. Once again, this has a length of seven inches. I will probably have to get it shortened because I do recommend for sizing that you should only be able to fit one finger in between it. So here I can probably fit two, I would say. So we will have to get it shortened a bit. So this is what the beautiful tennis bracelet looks like. Look at the shine of the 49 round diamonds. Once again, this bracelet has a 14 karat white gold as well as a rhodium finish. I'm sure by now you've heard of the company Blue Nile. They've been around for 25 years. They were founded in 1999. And what made them popular is that they were a huge online retailer of diamonds. Currently, they have over 150,000 different diamond options on their site. They have natural diamonds as well as lab grown and other stones. Blue Nile offers diamond certification, free 30-day returns, secure delivery, and lifetime guarantees. On Blue Nile's website, you can filter diamonds, including natural as well as lab-grown, based on criteria such as shape, price, carat, color, clarity, and cut. So as I mentioned prior, this bracelet comes in a standard size of seven inches in length. It is likely that you will have to get it resized for comfort. You don't want it too loose because it may snag. And you also don't want it too tight because obviously that would be uncomfortable. Luckily, Blue Nile offers a resizing service. I would recommend visiting one of their stores. They will mail in your bracelet to get it resized. They charge a fee of $75 for the service, which in my opinion is not too bad. Also included with the Blue Nile purchase is their cleaning kit. So this kit contains four ounces of professional jewelry cleaner as well as a cleaning cloth. So here's the jewelry cleaner as well as the polishing cloth. And we also have some instructions. And we also have the article description paper along with the appraised value on the bottom. So the appraisal value is higher than the price that we paid. And it also has the diamond information in the corner as well. So what are some differences between lab grown and natural diamonds? Natural diamonds have tiny amounts of nitrogen, whereas lab grown diamonds do not. This is a very slight difference. You won't be able to tell with a naked eye. There are two popular methods of creating lab grown diamonds. The first is through chemical vapor deposition or CBD. A seed crystal is placed in a chamber filled with gases, then heated. Layers of carbon begin to form on the seed crystal, which produces a diamond crystal. The second method is called high pressure, high temperature, or HPHT. This replicates the Earth's natural process. Graphite is placed in a machine where it is in turn crushed with extreme pressure and high heat. The graphite turns into a diamond. It is one important thing to note that lab diamonds are not cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia have different properties. This is because lab-grown diamonds share the same physical and chemical properties as their mined counterparts. Cubic zirconias, while they are shiny and beautiful, they have a completely different structure altogether. You may have heard of mosonite, which is a gemstone initially found in a meteor crater. Naturally occurring mosonite is actually extremely rare. Most of the mosonite that you see on the market is artificially created. 
Of course, melzonites are softer than diamonds, requiring more maintenance and care. So what are some approximate price differences between lab-grown and naturally occurring diamonds? Let's take a look on Blue Nile's site. Here we have a 1.08 carat round diamond. This runs for $13.90 on their site. A naturally grown diamond of the same parameters would run you $33.50. This makes a natural diamond 2.4 times the price of a lab-grown diamond. This is just one example, of course. Based on other factors, the price will vary, but this should still give you an idea. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you like content like this, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.